Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Massive football game Saturday night. Iowa State heading on the road to play West Virginia. Big 12 championship implications. I'd even go as far in saying college football playoff implications. Yeah, you look at the conference of the Big 12, it's been chaos. I think there are multiple teams that can win this conference championship. I think both of these teams are certainly capable of doing so. You look at Iowa State and say, steady Eddie like there's just not a lot of flaws and holes in this Iowa State team and I think Rocco Beck playing really good quarterback play you look at West Virginia and say they're starting to find their identity again specifically running the football ran the football 65 times against Oklahoma State for 389 rushing yards that's what we expected from this West Virginia team heading into 2024 I think a very good offensive line Two very good running backs with a dynamic quarterback in Gary Green, who I also think has made some strides in terms of that intermediate passing attack as well. I think this is going to be a phenomenal football game, but I think more importantly, the environment that we're going to see in West Virginia for a night game hosting a top 11 team in the country. This is a game that people are sleeping on because it's going to be a really good football game. Fired up to get into it before we do. And as always, I think most importantly, let it fly in the comment section. There are a lot of different ways this football game could go. I think there's a reason the spread is only sitting at three points. Would love to hear from you guys in the comment section. Appreciate y'all rocking with it. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this one. Now, you look at Iowa State, and I would say I would venture and say this might be the biggest test that Iowa State has seen throughout the 2024 season. Yeah, they beat Iowa by a point, and I think Iowa's a solid team. I think West Virginia is a more dangerous team. I think West Virginia has more playmakers on the offensive side of the football that can hurt this Iowa State defense. And let's start there. Like this Iowa State defense from top to bottom is just very, very complete. You look at why Iowa State is the 11th best team in the country right now, I think you'd start with they don't have a a guy specifically on defense that's going to be a top 20 pick in the NFL draft but they don't have many holes. Like it's really hard to attack this Iowa state defense. They are very solid at all three levels. I think they have an elite defensive coordinator. You look at West Virginia. I think the game plan is pretty simple. You look at Iowa state secondary, they're allowing a 50% completion percentage to opposing quarterbacks. That's number four in the country, only 4.9 yards per pass. That's number five in the country. This Iowa state secondary is extremely hard to throw the football against maybe a little bit more gettable in the run game, right? 4.2 rushing yards allowed that 61st in the country. Look at where West Virginia's strengths are. That is running the football. They run the football 61% of the time. That's 19th most in the country. They are starting to find how they want this rushing attack to look. And I think what's so unique about West Virginia is, yeah, West Virginia is going to want to run the football, but they are going to run the football in so many different ways. You'll see some two running back sets. They have two really good running backs in CJ Donaldson, and Jaheim White, I think there's a a lot of different ways that West Virginia can run the football behind an offensive line that I think is really good. So I think that's the biggest storyline in this football game is how much success can West Virginia have running the football against Iowa State. And then the the second conversation you probably want to have is, can West Virginia sprinkle in those explosive plays through the passing attack? Very similar to last year, like West Virginia is going to want to run the football, but when they start running the football well, They know how to dial up some play action and really hit explosive plays. Like Garrett Green's never going to be a quarterback that uh, personally I think is going to be completing 75% of his footballs. This is not the kind of quarterback and not the kind of offense that West Virginia wants to run. They want to run the football a lot. They want to force teams to have to respect what they're doing in the running game. And then they're going to push the ball down the field and try to hit explosive plays. And you don't hit those explosive plays at a 75% clip, but can you hit those explosive plays in this football game? That's the biggest question mark. Now, Iowa State's been very good at not allowing the explosive play. Again, only 4.9 yards per pass attempt, number five in the country. This is a a very consistent defense. Like They don't blow assignments. They don't give you a ton of opportunities to attack the deeper third. That's going to be something I think is worth mentioning or, or monitoring in this football game. And I think secondly, turnovers. You know, Iowa State one and a half, uh, plus one and a half in the turnover margin. That's number six in the country. But I think more importantly, this defense is extremely good at getting their hands on footballs. They're forcing two and a half turnovers per game. West Virginia has struggled a little bit with the turnovers, averaging 1.8 turnovers per game given up. 
Turnovers certainly could play a role in this football game. If West Virginia can limit the turnovers, limit the amount of times Iowa State gets some short fields, that's probably another storyline we're looking at in terms of that West Virginia offense going up against this Iowa State defense. Now, flipping the sides, what I love most about this Iowa State offense is they're very balanced, right? They run the football quite well, 4.2 yards uh, per carry, which is top 25 in the country. They run the football a decent amount of time, but when they want to throw the football, they have two wide receivers that, you know, nobody really talks about. Like Jalen Noel, Jaden Higgins, uh, two really dynamic wide receivers that can do a lot of different things. And Iowa State has been very clear that they want to run their passing attack through these two wide receivers. You look at the targets uh, for this Iowa State offense. Jaden Higgins has 42 targets. Jalen Noel has 35 targets. The next most targeted pass catcher for Iowa State is the tight end at, at, at 11 targets. And so if you're West Virginia coming into this football game one, I think you're optimistic that this West Virginia defense that had a rough start to the season, I think has probably put together their two best performances against Kansas and against Oklahoma State. What you want to do here is one, not allow Iowa State to run the football. They've been doing a very good job doing so. And I think more importantly in the passing attack, can you take away those two dynamic wide receivers? Now that is very e much easier said than done. Yeah, I think these two wide receivers are some of the better wide receivers that we see in the Big 12. But if there was something that maybe you could uh, attack with this Iowa State team, is it, it's a little bit one-dimensional with these two pass catchers. It doesn't seem like they have a ton of, I wouldn't say they don't have a ton of trust, but they haven't really shown the ability to go to other pass catchers when they're throwing the football outside of Higgins and Jalen Noel. So if you're West Virginia, you're keen in on stopping the run. You're making sure you can limit the production for those two wide receivers for Iowa State. And if you can do that, I think you put yourself in a decent spot to, to, to win this football game. Now getting into the pick here, I, I, I'm going to lean West Virginia uh, for a couple of different reasons. One, I think West Virginia is playing their best football that we've seen in, in quite a long time. Neil Brown really seems to have this program rolling in, not only in terms of what's on the field, but the identity of how West Virginia wants to win football games. I think more importantly, I, I'm not saying Iowa State's overrated. I, I just it, have my question marks about Iowa State. Like the most impressive win Iowa State has a one point win against Iowa, which personally I don't think is a very good football team. This will be the biggest test for Iowa State. If West Virginia is getting three points at home night game against Iowa State, I'm going to take West Virginia here, and, and I don't even need the points. I think West Virginia can go out and win this football game outright. I think it's going to be an elite football game. Everybody wants to talk about Oregon and Ohio State playing. This is a game that if you're a college football fan and you enjoy watching good football, like I think this is going to be a phenomenal football game. Fired up for it. We'll close it out there. Appreciate you guys rocking with it. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later.